Well, that wasn't too bad for being that long distance. I expected myself to hit something. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Back Hall here for American Truck Simulator. Back in the Freightliner Classic XL. And uh, painted it up as a company skin. I thought it kind of fit the part here with this truck. Now, I've mentioned before when I've driven this truck that it does come with a decent selection of already pre made skins from. Skinners like uh, Lucasi and others. Uh, I believe. Oh, yeah, I saw you too. I believe Polly was in there, and, and you know, there, there's already a decent amount of skins available for the truck right off the bat. Unfortunately, there aren't a whole lot available either in the workshop or at least where I looked at modland.net. Um, there are more company skins than there are custom skins. But I saw this Martin Transport, and okay, I've got a crap load of these trailers in my freight market. Why not go ahead and give this thing a shot? And, and I like, I definitely like. Now Martin Transport here has been around for a while, and they've had a lot of different trucks. Uh, I, I did a Google search on them, and they've had Peterbilt's and Kenworth's. 379s, 389. I think I saw one. Uh, 386s. They've had. They have new new Kenworths. They got multiple different paint schemes. Uh, they have had black and gray. They've had this one. They've had white and blue, matching the trailer here. So, you know, they've got multiple 
uh, trucks or you know, truck uh, models as well as paint jobs to match them, which is all fine and dandy. Uh, maybe there's different divisions. I didn't do my homework on that one. My apologies. I probably should have before I came out here and started talking about these guys. You know, maybe there's a difference between the ones that are black and gray compared to the ones that are blue and white or white and blue. But uh, that's something. You know, we can just leave the imagination, maybe. Ooh, I kind of like this paint job on this peat up here. Simple yet stylish. Black and gray. Oh, oh, ho, 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 where do you think you're going? Dude almost pulled right back, right back onto the lane. Now, about this truck as well, this is a different version. This is a different truck, actually. The one I drove was version 1.4, and, or, well, it was an updated version for 1.4. This one here is 2.0, edited by custom, and that's all it really says. It doesn't give anyone's name or anything. Uh, I didn't even see who uploaded it. Now all the credits are the same, and I will go ahead and list those in the description as well. But the one main thing about this that I didn't remember, or I don't think I saw in the last one, you have the SCI wheels. Now I'm using a Freightliner option wheel here with the mahogany, uh, but you do have choices for if you have the steering wheel DLC pack. Another slow freaking log truck. What is it with these guys? Not even doing the speed limit. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. There is a cargo for today. This literally is a backhaul, you could say. I'm hauling some plastic. I'm going over to the Dole factory or Dole location in, a, in El Centro drop off the plastic and get loaded up with some fruits and vegetables. But, uh, I didn't really notice any, oh wait, I did see a video where there was supposedly an option for a headache rack. I didn't see that option here. I did not see the option bubble. I might have missed it as I was, you know, going around the truck. So, um, I will double check that here before... I, I edit and upload the video, so either check the description or I'll add something here in the video to let you guys know, yes, there is a headache rack. But in the product or the, the demo video for the truck, it does say or does show that there is a headache rack option. So, little little curious as to why it's not here. Maybe I missed it, but, you know, that was something I mentioned on the last one. There was no headache rack, so maybe there is now. We'll find out. But the steering wheels here is one option. I believe there's another option for stacks. There's a few more to choose from. I do have a different hood, or not a different hood, a different grill on the truck today. It's pretty much, it's almost the same as what you give the stock Freightliner, but the loop, the, the louvers, is that what it is? Uh, they're a little different. You do have another option here for what looks like almost like a Peterbilt grill, um, but other than that, the one I showed off on Monday compared to this one here, they're almost the same, to be quite honest. Except for the steering wheels, and I will uh, also double check that. I am running a Cat 3406 engine. In in it and just skipped out. Uh, 3406 is underneath the hood, 13 speed Eden Fuller with retarder, bolted up to that one. Oh, and the other one I'm showing off here, the angled and CB antennas. So you got two choices for the CB antennas, straight up and down like I had on Sunday. And of course, these are that are angled forward, so give yourself a different look. I did have one of the different visors on here for a little bit, but I ended up taking it off. It comes down about a third of the windshield, and I didn't want to venture too far away from the... 
I didn't want to venture too far away from the company look. You know, you've seen those company trucks. You know, the driver it was able to do a few modifications. So in this case, I've been able to do that here. But uh, you know, I didn't want to stray too far away from the company look. So some companies will allow drivers to do that, make certain modifications, change out lights, add lights, things like that. But they do sometimes put a limit on them. Not all companies, but um, you know. It, there are some out there that will allow that, and then there are others who will just do it themselves. You know, that's just how they are. But over and all, yeah, a lot of good feedback. You guys really seemed to dig this new version of the Freightliner Classic. I've gotten some messages as well as a couple of comments from people saying they were downloading it right now. Um, well worth the download, really is, really is, and even. Regardless of what version you guys, or what, uh, yeah, what version, I guess you could say, of the Freightliner Classic here you take. And this one will be in my mods list as well, so you guys will be able to see this one. Watch this video, watch Sunday Test Drive. Make, you know, decide for yourself. They're pretty much the same. I, 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 I'll just be honest and straight up front. Except for the wheels, like I mentioned, and maybe the headache crack, but other than that, they're pretty much the same truck. Um, the file is labeled different, so that's where I'm kind of going to have to dive deep into this if I really want to figure it out. Is this some kind of trickery where someone took it, made two, two changes, re-uploaded it, and called it theirs? You know, that, that's just some shady stuff right there, you know. It, you, you don't just make two changes or add an item or remove an item and say, oh, yep, I, you know. One other change here, you've got the lights there on the mirrors. So, another little addition that I did not notice on the original one that I had on Sunday as well. And it wasn't, and I, I might have missed it because it doesn't show up unless you select the dual mirrors. See, I got the, the small mirror on the bottom there. If you do not select that option, then the light option here did not show up. Now the actual light or is it a turn signal? No, no, it's a turn signal. I like those. Oh, come on, stop. Don't need to hit the meat wagon. Now we're going to sit here and wait. Oh, maybe not. It wasn't, the whole shifter what just straight up wasn't working earlier. I had to do the troubleshoot with Windows to get it to work again, so. Hopefully I do not have an issue with my shifter. Let me try to go. There it is. Yeah. Although the... The cat here is a good sounding motor. I'm probably going to have to stick with the Cummins on this one. I've been playing some ETS2 and these trips are just not really shaping up to be as long as I would like them to be. I'm, I'm getting used to how long they are on ETS2 and uh, nowhere near the same here. This was originally a six hour trip and you know here I am already done where on ETS2 I'm still driving. So it's a, that's a little something for you to get, you know, to come for you guys if you haven't experienced ETS2 and how big the map is there, and how long it takes to deliver stuff there and move stuff. Uh, that's what we're looking at here. So, but we are parked. I can't get too straight because someone parked that John Deere right there, so this will have to do. God, that bumper looks nice. 
That is a nice looking ride right there. But that is going to be it for now, guys. I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this truck. Check it out. And I'll see you tonight for the live stream. Until then, take it easy.